welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy. Today's video is the first episode of Single Teen Mom Life. This episode may seem a little boring, but it sets up the story. I will be reading the backstory that explains the clips from the beginning. If you don't want to listen to that story, I'll put the timestamp for the Let's Play Begins in the description below. I'll also include the backstory in the description. This Let's Play focuses on a teenager named Natalie Haywood. Natalie Haywood was a teenager living in Oasis Springs who thought she had it all. She was the only child of amazing parents whom she had a great relationship with. One day she told her parents goodbye before leaving for school as they were leaving for a business trip themselves. Unfortunately, they died in an accident on the way back. Natalie was now a teenage orphan. After the funerals, she learned that her father had gambled away everything. The only possessions she had left were her clothes, laptop, camera, and a hundred simoleons in her personal bank account. Her best friend's family, the Corderos, agreed to take her in. Natalie and Kimber Cordero had been best friends since they were toddlers. Their dads had been best friends, their moms had been best friends. Nolan and Kathy Cordero have three children. Kimber and her twin Jackson, and a toddler named Sydney. Jackson has always had a secret crush on Natalie. After her parents' death, Natalie began dating Malcolm Langle, one of her classmates. She hated that he was mean and a snob, but he gave her the attention she wanted in order to cope. Malcolm had changed Natalie into the exact opposite of what she had been. She wasn't doing well in school anymore. She was skipping school with Malcolm, and she was drinking. Natalie and Malcolm attended a class camping trip to Granite Falls. On this trip, Natalie and Malcolm woo She began to feel sick not long after, and then had a positive pregnancy test. She went to eat dinner with Malcolm at Sunnyside Up Diner and told him she was pregnant. He wanted nothing to do with the baby and then broke up with Natalie. Natalie told Malcolm's mother Nancy about the baby and was met with the same attitude as she received from Malcolm. Later, Jeffrey Landgrab invited Natalie to the ice cream parlor in Newcrest. He told her that he did not share the same view as his wife and son. He gave her 100 simoleons and promised to send 100 more a week to help her care for the baby. He asked her to keep his involvement a secret. So this brings us to where we are at the story right now. This is, of course, Natalie. She is currently an F student. Her skills are charisma, comedy, fitness, handiness, and video gaming. I have the Sim National Bank mod, which allows her to have her money separate from the household so she has 200 simoleons oh bonnie just an a yaba with a harp and a ook with zona zarspa for her relationships Fabrice, your <laughs> just jackson <laughs> kathy sydney kimber and Marilyn, <laughs> which are the corderos <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Simpler. was her mother and Alec was her father. <laughs> then she has Jeffrey, she she has the land grabs, and then these are people she's met <laughs> at some point <laughs> when I was playing <laughs> off camera. <laughs> her aspiration is to be Master Chef. She is currently in her second trimester, third trimester, in 11 hours. Not sure why she's here, but just invite her in. Of course, I also shows you here where Kathy and Bonnie were best friends, as well as Nolan and Alec. 
Oh, Natalie Mama. has not told anybody besides the land grabs that she's pregnant. I like to play with the outer walls up, but not really the inner walls. It's kind of hard to. Oh, so I just had Nelly do a homework. Oh, oh. She needs to do for school at the moment. So I'm going to have them all get ready for the evening. Then we'll fast forward through the night and come pick back up in the morning. First, I'm going to have Kathy come cook dinner. While everybody else just takes care of needs. This is the Cordero parents' bedroom. This is Jackson's room. Little Sydney, Kimber, and then this is where Natalie's been staying. Let me see, she should be done cooking by now. Oh. Discipline. Um. Hello, who's OP? Or not. Discipline, calm, ask not to make mess. Jeff and Athi Banahu, the Narpelka. And clean it up. While everybody else grabs. Oh, Some food. This, this part's really going to be short uh, and a little boring because it's uh -huh. pretty much just setting up for the birth of the baby. Uh -huh. And then I have other plans for Natalie. She won't be staying here the entire time. Uh. In fact, she'll probably uh. leave for a second for the next part uh. of her story after the baby is born. I think Natalie's still talking to Amelia, I think her name is. She's the only one left. Oh. 
Papa Ronnie Squamish. Dossie with Arlene. Minchie, Benata. Lemphi and Zerpa, the hoin, spouted. Chaba, Flamon Shush, Ulak, Yemful. Freeba, who can it consume? Lemfi Nulets, Zap and Quar, Corbani. Snavy, Saponario. Kithara, Corsoy. Purple, Turrip and Nar. Purple, Exanoi Guma, Ferric Bounty. If it's all dim, go ahead to bed since it is after midnight sometime. I don't know why it takes forever for them to accomplish simple tasks. Have her read her to sleep. She'll go to sleep here. He's there. She's there. Kimber wants to be an artist, and Jackson wants to be a comedian, so they have their objects to help them. I guess she's not going to put Sydney to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and lock the door for everybody but the household members. Don't need any vampires sneaking in. Set her. Have Kathy go down and get her and put her to sleep. I hear her grunting up the steps. <laughs> Kathy should pick her up when she gets to the top. Just three days of vacation, that's good. She might need that when the babies are born to take care of them. Kathy is a teacher. No one is a project manager in the tech guru career. And then of course Kimber Jackson and Natalie are all high school students. So we have her come down to make breakfast. I was planning to skip through the night, but it took a while to get 
Sydney to go to sleep. Serve some fruit salad that seems safest. Then I'll have everybody else get up and get ready. Might let him sleep a little bit. He doesn't have to be at work for three hours. Whereas the teenagers have to be at school, so. I will most definitely probably be skipping through the day since everybody will be gone except for Sydney. And I'll just send her to daycare. Natalie okay. is remembering her broken heart from when she, her and Malcolm broke up. Oh. And, I, uh... and third trimester in about half an hour. half a some hour. She's definitely starting to look oh, a little. Ratna. Listen to winter holiday in the spring. As of right now, Natalie does not work like a part time job or anything. It's just, she's just a student. That the fruit salad so I don't have everybody grab a serving before he's always wanting to set the table I think we'll have him hire a housekeeper just to come clean up this mess. I made. Sydney should be on her way down. So this is what he does when everybody leaves, I guess. to leave it in nine minutes. So 
So I'm going to send Sydney to daycare because I'm not going to hire a, a nanny. Although this isn't my money, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to fast forward until they get home from school. Okay, all the teens are home from school, so Sydney's back. She's still an F student. She's got to work really hard to bring that up, and that's going to be tough taking care of the baby. There are still C students as well, but I really haven't been concentrating much on the Cordero family. Natalie's the main one I've been concerned with. So, uh, I mean, I actually cheated up their careers to get them to a an expected level at their point in life. Kathy should be coming home soon. I'm gonna have to reset her to get this to go off. I'm also gonna have Kimber come clean this up. Good old Dwayne does it all. He's Cub Scout and Lifeguard. Sydney's sad she needs to play, so I think I might have her go upstairs and play with the dollhouse with her brother. Not play, play dolls with. Oh, she can't play with Jackson. <laughs> he can, however, clean that. So I'm gonna have Kathy and. Welcome wagon. Now we're going to cancel that. Why could she not travel with Natalie? That's odd. Never seen it where they can't travel with somebody in their household. Okay, so I'm just gonna have Kathy travel there and then I'll bring Natalie there once she gets there. I did fill Newcrest up with things such as the indoor pool, toddler park, 
Stay, play, and party. The homeless shelter. This is the cemetery where Natalie's parents are buried. A daycare. A vegan restaurant. Ice cream parlor. Science center. And then some other restaurants as well. And I did put one thing in Magnolia Promenade. Well, actually, I put two up at the spa or a yoga studio. But I also love the skate and eat that I got off the gallery. So we'll go to Newcrest and we'll go to Sunnyside Up Diner. Okay, now that she's here, pause for a minute. I'm going to bring Kathy here. Mm. And then we'll have them put into a group. Not with MC Command. How do they not know each other? They're. Nova. Guess that's why they couldn't. Oh, Dag Dag. Silla. Bahira Emidi. Okay, so now I can put them in a group. Blurbis. Ooh, yeah. I have her go request a table. Alexander I did have a problem before and have to. We do some things that might have been where I cheated their relationship rather than. And Bobby Frenoy. And Bonnie didn't do the work, but uh, I'm gonna get them both ordered a drink, then to eat, we'll just get spinach frittata. Uh, like she doesn't think she looks pregnant just like that. So will not do. Oh, floof, got for sepine, rinchu, pudish, abimi, kinkubu koiba, v, oh yes, kangane ansa. Oh. Oh. That's the baby's due date. Oh, Bemoisa. Kinnick. Roshba. Oh, Lizarak. Bobe Saguinario. Nerkska Sherard. Ibo Auchinosa. Abinor Saguinari. Oh, Bobcaro. Absil. Hudapai Blorid. Arenak. Yeah. Junga. Etchemis. Oh, what is it? Lumbic Kenda, Vilpa, Befite, Sibiwum Florib, Bwis Brainum. Torki, Shuxa. I know they're Fusil. arguing about music, wow. but we're just going to say that they're arguing over the fact that Natalie is pregnant. And Kat is not very happy with it. Nidva Pathan, Skuma Plonide, Nilvia Cruz, Bekanoi Yamp, Shippy, Gasha. Mumba. Kathy's very Ooh, disappointed. Oh, what Natalie's been Sawata, doing. Sawata, Bima, uh, Seneca, Belinda, Grinia. Oh, I want a fez, licka, umbuster brood. Kempel, Veruda, Nuloi, Sawata. Zanahoy. Barsip, 
Bajelja. Ah, Quack. Bazeric. Nargi. Misakoi. Fina. Uh, oh. <laughs> Excuse the glitch. It's it's this custom ah, hair. Yipsy. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> of a lot of. The whole point of this meeting is that Kathy is conf has confronted Natalie about being pregnant. Of course, Natalie had to admit that she was. And Kathy's just simply saying, we can't help you take care of it. We can't help you support it. We took you in as a favor. Natalie is in her third trimester now. She could give birth at any time. I'll let Kathy go to the restroom while Natalie finishes her spinach frittata. She's also going to need to go. Why for her calm? No, they finished their meal. They can go home. I might have Kathy go ahead and go home. Uh -huh. She had her discussion with Kathy, I mean with Natalie. And before she goes home, I want her to go to the cemetery for a few minutes. So this is Bonnie and Alex Graves, and she is asleep on the bench. I'm going to have her come mourn. I love how she stands over here instead of right here. Has delayed reaction of what she was supposed uh, to be doing. Then I'm gonna have her go home after. She just went and stopped by. Come here and see what they need done. Uh. Little Sydney's just <laughs> Zambu. <laughs> oh. Um, she is hungry and I 
Not sure, Kathy never made it back. Yeah. See, all we have is one vegetable dumpling, so I'll have Kathy make something real quick. Make some grilled cheese real quick. That is not your bed, sweetie. Take a quick shower. Get in the bed. Kimber is still cleaning. Nola, get out of the bathroom. He should be embarrassed. I'll let her finish her shower later. No, we're not gonna smash this all the dollhouse, Sydney. Just come over here and get some of this. I don't understand why nobody takes care of the toddlers when you leave the home with another sim. Seems like they never can't take care of the toddlers. I've actually had toddlers taken away because I left them at home with somebody else in the household and they did nothing to take care of them. So after she eats, she'll just come up here and go to sleep. I may just fast forward a little bit. Only to awake or Kimber taking a bath and Sydney, who should be eating. And she should be heading up the stairs. Natalie still has not gone into labor yet. She's pretty good in her skills. So now it's time for them to go to school. Natalie just needs to finish her shower. I might just have them eat the rest of these grilled cheese for breakfast. Jackson's fine. He can just grab food. Kimber can just grab food.
Allie went into labor right before school. So I'm thinking she's just going to have to miss school today. And then she can, she'll have baby at the hospital. We'll join her. We'll take Malcolm, although usually they just run off after you get there. And Malcolm has disappeared. They they always do that. Dag dag. Paranoid, Zangsa. Oh, uh, Yanshi. Oh, Zadik Loy. at work. Hmm. Oh. Lydia Dalton. Uh, huh. Good old Mortimer that shows up everywhere. Head on back, see if she's having a boy or a girl. So we can finally get the story going a little bit more. I would go. <laughs> Drinks growl. Come now. Huh. <clears throat> uh, uh. Why is this still up there? Uh. It's a boy, and the boy name I'd picked out was Jaden. And it's twins. I guess for the girl, I'll call her Jada to go with Jaden. This poor baby here with her, her head through the So now we'll head on home. We're back to the Cordero house. Um, let's have her change her outfit back into her clothes. Now here comes the part that I call baby scavenger hunt. You never know which room. There they are. I'm going to cut out real quick and fix their bassinets up. And then I'll be back. Okay, so we have Jaden and Jada. Have her come up and feed them. I'm also going to lock her bedroom door. If not until she moves out, every time the babies cry, 
somebody's going to come running up here and get in the way. So lock it for everybody but Natalie. Buroshi. So so. Rebuda. So I'll probably end this part here. And we'll pick up. Hmm, F a joy. In the next episode. Jor. Where her story will get a little bit more exciting. Um. They will only be babies for a couple of days, and then her story will really pick up. I wasn't expecting uh, twins. It's going to change uh, things a little. A of... It's really going to be more difficult for Natalie now. But I think, I think it'll work out for the best. And they're both asleep now, so now would be the perfect time to cut out. So we will pick up. She, of course, she's not going to school today. And then she'll have two days, so probably by the time it's Monday rolls around, they should be almost. I have it on long lifespan, so it's going to show longer, but I'm not going to let them stay a baby this long. If she had them on Friday morning, I'll probably age them up on Monday morning. And then she'll take Monday off from school as well. And then things will pick up from there. She will most likely be leaving the Cordero household sometime Monday. So yeah, thanks for watching and I can't wait for the story to pick up a little bit more because the this lead up was the lead up part was kind of boring waiting for her to give birth. So I hope you'll be back for episode two and thanks for watching. Bye.